Well, hello again. Welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. If this is your first time coming, though, thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you will click that little subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you'll get a notification every time I upload a video. And for those of you who have been hanging out with me for over a year now, thank you so much for your patience watching me go through my hair journey. I really appreciate the company. I really appreciate the comments and all the tips and things that you guys have been sending me about my hair. Uh, so I want to give you an update and, and catch up with you about what has happened since I um, use that Eco Styler gel. Okay, here it is. See? <laughs> it is very defined. Um, and this is after I had to, I ended up having to co-wash it. And uh, I found this stuff at Ross when I was in the States that I had, I tried to use it one time when my hair was transitioning and ooh, it did not do well for my hair. So I tried it this time. It's by Salon Graphics, Healthy Hair Nutrition Conditioning Cleanser for Severely Dry Hair. That would be me. Extra moisture and repair. Sulfate paraben free. Um, color defend formula. Exotic coconut and shea butter. Uh, so. Oh boy. There's a glare. But here's this. Salon graphics. I had to wash my hair again. And the reason that I had to wash it again since I last saw you guys is because it was itching so bad because I had put so much product on it trying to get the frizz to calm down and it wouldn't calm down so i ended up putting all this stuff in my hair and i have night sweats occasionally you know at my age and um and i think when my body sweat mixed with all that stuff it just made my head itch and i thought now that's just too bad because i had just washed my hair two days prior so I thought, well, let me just rinse it out and um, use this. And this really worked on my hair quite well. It didn't make it feel stripped or anything. It felt clean. My scalp felt clean and my hair didn't feel stripped. But let me tell you what I had to do after that. After that, I washed my hair. I left it wet. Um, I, went, I went back and used the Cantu. Oops. Sorry, y'all. I never get that right. Um, the Cantu Leave-In Conditioning Cream. And then um, I used, uh, I coated my hair in some, uh, I think I used olive oil. Yes, I used olive oil this time. And then I, I found a smaller thing. I have two containers of products that I brought back with me from the States. It's ridiculous, I know. And this was one of them that I found, so I don't have to keep that big honking one that I showed you last time in this little tiny RV bathroom. But anyway, so I found my little container and I looked at a lot of videos of people that were doing wash and goes and I thought, I'm going to do a wash and go. Yeah, well, let me tell you. I was raking through my hair. I put, the, uh, put this on there and actually I put some shea butter mixture of mine on there first and then I put this on there. And I'm raking through, and I started in the back, and I'm raking through, and I'm raking through, and I'm raking through. And I got to half of my head, got half my head done, and my my curls were, were very, it was very curly. <laughs> very defined, very curly and separated, looked nice. By the time I got to this side, this side started going. And I'm thinking to myself. This is going to be hard. I have to sleep on this. I don't have long hair yet. And this is going to be a mess in the morning. And the inside was still wet. I don't have a diffuser. I don't have a hair dryer. I haven't put heat on my hair in seven years. Even when I was relaxed, I did not put heat on my hair for about seven years. So I have no way to dry the roots of my hair. And I'm thinking... It was going to be a matted mess in the morning. So you know what I did? Take a guess. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's right. I decided, let me just wet this stuff down again and just go ahead and twist it back up. And um, I don't know, maybe I should wait till my hair gets longer before I do try to do a wash and go. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments below and I'll consider giving it a whirl if I get enough people saying, give it a try. Anyway, this is my hair unpicked, right? I got the pick. But I'm thinking, if I pick it out, it's going to go, right? You think I should give it a try? Or you think I should leave it the way it is? If I leave it the way it is, I could actually sleep on this for probably two days before it starts getting really frizzy again, and then I have to do something else. It'll be time for me to actually give it a washing, not a co-wash, in about four days. So, and it's raining again. Lovely. So anyway, I'm thinking maybe I should give it a whirl. Let's see what happens. Well, let's see. You can see the frizz. <laughs> it's starting already. It's at the root. Oh, my gosh. Well, I don't know about this, y'all. It makes it look a little bit fuller. It's true. That's because you got all that frizz at the bottom. Trying to go somewhere. Well, maybe I just won't pick it out as much as I would like to. That's not even that much fuller. I don't know. Can you tell the difference? I can't really tell the difference. Can you tell the difference? Let me know if you can tell the difference. From when I picked it and when I didn't pick it. I don't want to pick it too much because it'll go and then it'll dry out and then it'll be a mess, right? So anyway, here's my update. Cantu, uh, olive oil, this stuff, and a co-wash with this Salon Graphics co-wash stuff. And uh, I would like to do a wash and go, but I don't know if I to give it a whirl. We'll see. I don't know. You guys let me know. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And then I'll make a decision based on how many yays or nays I get, right? It doesn't matter to me either way since I'm on a journey and I'm learning. I would like to see what it looks like, but I'm not in a hurry. So whatever. Just let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share my channel with someone else. Maybe someone else you know that has gray hair or graying hair or considering going gray. Um, I could tell them what I did that got me to where I am now. Okay? All right, so thanks for coming by, and I'll see you next time. Stay natural.